Here are my flea market finds for December 5th, 2010. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff, but a couple good things I decided to make a video. First up is a uh, <coughs> model kit for a uh, Kawasaki. Got everything to it. And chips. Poplar TV show back in the 80s. Uh, paid 20 for this. Don't know if I paid too much, but uh, I think I'll make a little bit on it. Maybe I only get 30, maybe 40. Uh, pack of baseball, a uh, whole box of baseball cards. The wax packs from 1989. That was four bucks. Um, baseball cards aren't anywhere near what they used to be. Um, I was I was into them big time uh, back in the 80s and 90s. Got a ton of them. Um, I doubt they'll ever be uh, what they used to be, but uh, I figure can't go wrong for uh, four dollars for I think it's 36 packs in there. So is that like 12 cents a pack? I'll probably sell the whole box uh, as is. Got my wife a, uh, a Santa. It's a glass Santa. She actually has a uh, frosty snowman, so she was happy that I got her a uh, Santa to go with it. Uh, that was six bucks. Pretty good deal, actually. I probably, if I was to sell it, I probably could make some money on that. But I'm not. Uh, got another model. This is uh, Hubley, which is a good name in uh, metal toys. And this is all metal. I don't know if uh, all the parts are there or not. But paid 10 for this. Once again, it's a shot. Um, I don't think it's, I'm going to make a huge amount of money. Um, but I don't think I'll lose any either. Uh, got some neat toys here. All different carriages. made by this company Brum B-R-U-M-M -M. and uh, it's all in it says made in Italy the writing's all in Italian and the guy wanted uh, $3 a piece for these and I got the four of them for ten dollars. Um, just went by gut on these. Don't know what they're worth. I haven't looked them up yet. Once again, I think I'll make some money. I don't think it's going to be a huge amount. Uh, got old butter churn. Um, like a little tabletop butter churn. I just, I'm drawn to the old stuff like this with the cast iron and the glass and the wood. I paid uh, 15 for this. Uh, mark on the bottom, if you see it's an A inside of an H, it's anchor hocking. Some nice wear on the bottom. Um, it's been sitting on, sitting around, moved around for a long time. Uh, probably, probably just double my money on that. It's not worth a whole lot. I probably end up getting thirty for it. Neat looking piece. And last but not least is a. Uh, whole lot of cast iron. 
And it made me think, this is the first time I've fought cast iron all year, I think. Uh, pretty odd, actually, because I, uh, I normally do buy cast iron. A uh, guy pulled up in his pickup truck, and he was shopping, and he came up to me. I guess he knows me as a person that buys stuff. He asked me if, if I like cast iron. I told him, yeah. And we walked to his truck, and laying in the bed of his truck was all this uh, cooking pans. Um, so I picked, first thing I went to was this big old pan. I flipped it over. And boom, Griswold. That's a nice pan. Griswold is a very good name. I asked him how much for a pan. He said five bucks. So that's a that's a steal for five bucks. Um, check the other pans. Unfortunately, none of the rest are Griswold. So I asked him uh, how much for all the uh, cast iron. He said 20 bucks. So I gave him 20 bucks and got the whole lot. This Griswold. One just went off Sunday night on eBay. Same exact thing. Uh, went for $126. So I got to clean it up some. But Griswold's very collectible. It. Uh, they started making pans back in the 1860s, made them to like 1950s, and there's a lot of variation to them. It's uh, this is a number 11, but. Uh, something to look out for. Another one to look out for is Wagner. This old Wagner ware needs to be cleaned up. Um, good way to clean them. Spray them down with uh, oven cleaner. Put them in a plastic bag. Let them sit for a couple days. Um, but Wagner's not nearly worth as much as uh, Griswold. But, and if this would be a Griswold, it'd be worth money, but not a whole lot. Only the real big ones are uh, are worth a lot. There are some exceptions to the rule, but uh, generally, uh, your big pans. When I first got it, I thought it'd only be worth about 50 bucks. So it kind of surprised me when I saw it on the... Uh, eBay for 126. So, uh, so it was worthwhile going out. And I am freezing out here. So, maybe I'll see you next week.